Hi, this is Elizabeth Cermak from Your Highest Light, Life Coach and Angel Tarot Card Reader. And I'm here today on Facebook and Instagram Live. That's why I'm looking back and forth. Um, and I'm here today and every Friday at 1030 to talk to you about your favorite topic and mine, spiritual issues, spiritual topics. So today I'm going to talk about how to have more energy. And so what I want to talk about is ha how to have more energy to do the things that you love, to do your passion, to do the things that you were born to do. So if you're one of those people who at the end of the day sometimes is like, oh my God, I spent so much energy on things that ultimately don't even matter, this is for you, okay? So hi, everybody. Hi, Dana. Um, so if, if you, if you, at, by the end of the day, you're like, oh, I spent so much energy on things that don't matter. This is for you because I'm going to be talking today about how to have energy by, at the end of the day for the things that you really love and the things that you were put here on this earth to create. And at the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tarot card reading or it's an oracle card reading actually. And I have two new decks. So if you've been paying attention this week, I have Gabby Bernstein's deck. It's been pointed out to me that when I say left and right, it's opposite on TV or on the screen. So uh, anyway, that, this is Gabby Bernstein's deck, The Universe Has Your Back. And I also have Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue, Angels of Abundance. So whatever deck speaks to you, take a look at them now. Whatever deck speaks to you, tell me and that I will pull a card for you out of that deck. This deck is about transforming fear to faith and knowing that the universe has your back. And this deck is about releasing those um, blocks to abundance. Okay, so I'm gonna do that at the end, it'll be fun. But right now I'm gonna talk first about how to have that energy to do the things that you love. And I'm gonna start with a quote from A Course in Miracles because this is where the answer lies. Okay, so it says, the little problems that you keep and hide become your secret sins because you did not choose to let them be removed for you. And so they gather dust and grow until they cover everything that you perceive and leave you fair to no one. Not one right do you believe you have. And bitterness with vengeance justified and mercy lost condemns you as unworthy of forgiveness. The unforgiven have no mercy to bestow upon another. That is why your sole responsibility must be to take forgiveness for yourself. So that's really the answer to this is forgiveness. And it's actually not to forgive anybody else. It's to forgive yourself because by forgiving, by forgiving yourself, you will naturally have, for, have the energy to forgive other people. Of course, in miracles, this kind of gets a little bit deeper, but it really would say that it's really not even your, sometimes people who claim to be spiritual people or any of us tend to think that um, forgiveness puts us above other people. So we say, oh, um, I, I will forgive that person because Mary Williamson jokes, because I'm so spiritual, I'm gonna forgive that person. And actually, you know, we aren't really even in a, in a position to judge and forgiveness really implies that you're judging that other person, that you have to forgive them. So that kind of gets into something deeper, but we're gonna use the term forgiveness just for lack of a better term. So I, I see this happen all the time with my clients Sorry, I have a back cushion in the back of me. I see this happen all the time with my clients where they um, they come to me and they're complaining, or not complaining, but they're, all of their energy is going towards something in their life that they do not like, that they do not want. It might be a person, like a um, you know, an ex-wife or, ex, or a, or a daughter-in-law or a mother-in-law or a, it might be a habit that they want to get rid of, you know, that, and this person or this habit is taking up all their energy. Even like a bad habit that they don't want is taking up all their energy. And so, okay, so what would you be focusing on if you weren't focusing on that? You know, that's a question a lot of times that I'll ask. And what happens is I see, a, I see these miracles miracles happen. I have the best clients in the world, by the way. And they will find some creative outlet, something that they love, something that they were made to put on this world to do. And they will start putting their energy into that. And then all of a sudden, all that other stuff that didn't really matter becomes so much smaller and they're not talking about it anymore. It's so cool to see. It's such a transformation. So, um, you know, whatever that creative outlet is, and this, this, ties into forgiveness, so I'll tell you in a minute. So sometimes people want to, you know, help other people. Sometimes people just want to put their put themselves out there. Whatever it is that 
you want to do. It's your thoughts are your own. You, you're the only person in this world who can do what you were put here to do. And so imagine if you were being able to put all that energy into that, into whatever that is. Even if you don't know what that is, that's okay. But by forgiving yourself, you will automatically be able to put your more energy into that. And what happens is, so it almost happens naturally without clients even knowing it sometimes, is that first of all, they were able to forgive themselves. You're able to forgive yourself for everything you did yesterday, for every mistake that you think you made, for every opportunity that you think you lost. You're able to forgive yourself for that, and then you're able to move on. And in turn, you end up, it becomes so much easier to forgive everybody else for what you think that they've done wrong. And so sometimes that even, that happens subconsciously. It's so cool, and it's really a freedom. And you know, as we know, we all know this, but I'm gonna have to say this, that, um, Forgiveness does not mean that what that person did was okay. It does not mean that that you um, even love that person or that you even want to be near that person. It just means that you're free of whatever that was. So when you forgive yourself for even being in that position or even for you forgive yourself for your misperceptions, then you're able to let it go and you're able to have that freedom and you're able to forgive everybody else too because none of it really mattered. And really what matters is what you're here to do, what you're here to create. So what is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to create? Do you want to, um, are you a painter? Are you know, I never thought of myself as an artistic person. So I, but I realized that I'm, what I want to do is help others through a lot of these spiritual practices. And so that's kind of where I found my creativity and my creative outlet. My husband's a huge artist and he's just, um, creative in his own way. So we all have our own things that we want to do in this world. So I'm wearing, oh, I forgot to say, I'm wearing my wings dress by Threads by Marie. You can see it on Facebook, you can't see it as well as Instagram. So because to celebrate that I'm going to be seeing Paul McCartney in one week from today at Madison Square Garden, can't wait. So Threads by Marie on Etsy, Marie How I Love You, she, um, We'll make you a dress. You know, you send her your measurements, what you want on the dress, and she'll make it for you. She's awesome. So that is the, um, the lesson for today about forgiveness. So so glad that everybody's joined. And let me know if you want me to pull a card for you, okay? So I have The Universe Has Your Back by, Dory, or by Gabby Bernstein. I love this box. I don't want to give preference to one deck over the other, but... The full moon this week, how cool was it? Oh my gosh, and I love the black box with the moon and the owl, so I think that's so cool. Scammy did such a good job. And I am not um, paid to say that or anything like that. I just love her. And Angels of Abundance, this is a great book by Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue, Grant's her son. They wrote this book called Angels of Abundance, which helps you release, re release any of your blocks to abundance. It's really good. It's a really, really good book, very short and easy to read. So. Okay, I'm gonna pull one card from each deck for all of my listeners. And I say this every week that I have a small audience but it's always bigger than I expected. I love it. And so it's pretty intimate. So the, these readings that I do are really for, the, the energy is very strong. I can feel the energy in the circle very strong for people who watch it while it's playing live or for who want, people who watch it afterwards. And so these readings, these cards are really for you. You know, when you have a million viewers, it's, the cards aren't as personal. So the first one is from The Universe Has Your Back by Gabby Bernstein, and that's a great book, a great book to in order to transform fear to faith, which is what I talk about a lot too. Okay, so let's see what card, I'll stop talking and concentrate on the cards, what card that we, um, that my listeners need to see today. Okay. Oh, this is, this is a new one. I've seen a lot of them, but I haven't seen this one. I am a spirit having a human experience, and I'm here to get closer to love. So how cool is that? I wrote a blog this week. Well, it's going to be published later. I wrote it for my um, work at Owens & Associates, and it talks about how um, I write quote in it that we are not – I quote in it, I talk about meditating under the moon and really connecting with the darkness of the night and this time of year, you know, with fall coming that a lot of people complain, oh, you know, I hate it because the sunlight's out, not out as much. Well, there's a lot of mystery and a lot of um, peace to be found in the night and under the full moon, well, under any moon, but if you start following the phases of the moon and you start to really realize that you are a spiritual being having a human experience instead of 
a human being having a spiritual experience. So that's what I love this card. I'm a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Our purpose is always to get closer to love. Okay, so that's the first card for you guys under the Universe Has Your Back from the Universe Has Your Back deck. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> so good to see you guys. Okay, so this, this card is going to be from Angels of Abundance by Jordan Virtue. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day out. I'm a little bit excited for fall. I usually try not to wear boots until October 1st, but it's fall weather here. Okay, sorry. Now I'm talking about boots. I should be... I should be concentrating on the cards. Oh, the card popped out, so this is for you. Okay, I love this one. So this is a gratitude list. This talks about a gratitude list. And, wow, in my very first YouTube video, I talk about raising our vibration by with that attitude of gratitude and just as the first step to manifesting what you want in your life is to feeling grateful. So feel grateful for what's around you, for anything beautiful, anything that you have in your life that you love. And as I say that, I have to show my little dog. I mean, my husband and I every week are like, it It gets ridiculous. This dog is too cute. <laughs> so I'm so grateful for her. Anyway, okay, this is gratitude list. Counting your blessings and feeling grateful for what you already have helps you be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who you are great what and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity in the universe. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can see Prudence as I am reading this card. She has her head up in the air and like she's just sucking it all in. Okay, so this is just, I love this. It talks about how feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in our mind. So if you're, if you're struggling with worries, if you're struggling with... Um, your mind racing, if you just focus on gratitude, that can really help you to feel very centered. Okay? So, anybody, I'm so glad that you guys joined me today. Hi, Elena, it's so good to see you. Um, and if anybody wants a card, you can either tell me if you want a card, or what you can do is you can post it below. Okay, so out of either deck, I want you to just, whatever deck draws you, let me know. Whatever deck you're drawn to, let me know. And if you want me to pull a card for you, I can pull it and we can do it in the comments below. If you comment below that you want one, I'm going to assume that that you want one and that it's okay for me to post it in the comments, okay? Okay, so it's been great to see everybody. Hi, Elena. So good to see you. I'm actually signing off, so um, I love you all and I hope you have a good week. Oh, I won't be here next week. I am going to be seeing Paul McCartney next week at um, on Friday. So this day, so I won't, I probably won't be doing my YouTube live video because I will be in a hotel room unless maybe I feel like doing it. That might be kind of fun. So, um, but follow me on Facebook and Instagram because I will be overly sharing my New York experience, my first time to New York. Okay. Okay. Love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Peace and love. Um, Prudence says goodbye too. We'll see you in two weeks. Okay. Two weeks. Peace and love.